think I booked my hotel in the prostitute district of Naha in Okinawa. Does my family watch my content? I've been kind of under the impression they do not. I don't know. Okay, life update time. This will be a little life update slash motivational clip for myself and maybe you if you need motivation. Side note, when I get excited and in the past drunk, my voice sometimes sometimes gets really shrill like a clown. Anyway, um, here is what's going on with me. Okay, I quit drinking. That's that. I quit drinking. It just was, it just wasn't suiting me anymore. Of course, it's gonna sound hella lame, but I um, I quit. I was going to quit drinking. I was gonna quit drinking the night before Halloween day, and I I was I was doing great. I was like it was my first day saying that to myself. I wasn't drinking. Then I went to this yakiniku place, which I don't like yakiniku. I don't want to cook the shit myself. I don't like doing it. I don't get, I don't really get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't relate. I get it, but I don't relate. I don't want to do it. I don't want to have that experience. I want the shit cooked for me. Anyway, so we get there. <clears throat> First of all, I end up with this group of people I wasn't planning on hanging out with. You know, they're all drinking and stuff. I'm doing great. I'm saying no to drinks. Feels good. I'm like, yeah, this feels great. I don't really want to be drinking right now anyway. And then like we look for restaurants for like an hour. And I think I felt responsible responsible because I was like, oh, I know a place that would fit all of us. There's like, like 20 of us and they just kept inviting more and more people. I think this makes me kind of a square, but I like to figure shit out. Okay, I'm not, I don't like to wander, accumulate people, just kind of wander aimlessly and not end up anywhere. I like to figure shit out and I'd rather cut it down to just a few people and we all break off. And let me get back to my point. So I wasn't drinking, I was doing grabs with this group that I didn't really even care about being with. And we get to this Yakiniku place because it's the only place we could find though. They put tables together for us and we could all sit together. Most of us anyway, or half of us. We sit down and everything, going through the menu. I'm the only one, okay, and first of all, I'm never going to tell a large group of tourists that I'm the only one who speaks Japanese ever again. That was pretty annoying. I was the only one who spoke Japanese, so I'm like going through the menu, their translating apps aren't even working for them, and trying to help everyone, and then I just see that there's like a set course you can order. It's like 5,000 yen, it brings you meats and all this stuff, right? And everyone's like, oh yeah, 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 then we don't have to choose individually, it'd be great, they'll just bring it out to us, we don't have to worry about anything. But also with it was an all you can drink thing. So I kind of felt pushed into a corner and you know, it was the first day I was kind of deciding to do this. So I guess my resolve wasn't strong enough at the moment to decide to not do this, even though it is so much the flow of what's going on. Cause that's not always like what you want for yourself. Even if it's like, yeah, I was, it's not even the flow. I was feeling backed into a corner because it was like, Maybe out of desperation, I was feeling stressed out. And I was the only one dealing with the waiter and everything. And of course, the universe is giving. And it gave me the lesson I needed because I woke up the next day with severe food poisoning and very hungover, obviously, because I did partake in the drinking. And that food poisoning has lasted six days. I have not been able to eat anything. This is probably the most cleansed my body has been in years, okay? Just fruits and yogurt going in this body right now. And I'm exhausted. So anyway, I quit drinking. Yesterday, I was really having a time. Like I teared up because I can't eat anything. I like tried to just, I was like, I got so frustrated. I just scarfed down like some chicken from the convenience store. And then that was a mistake. I felt so ill. I slept, I've been sleeping all day because as soon as I eat anything, I just get exhausted and I have to go to bed. 
and then I sleep all day, and then I can't sleep at night, and then I get these headaches, right? It's been ridiculous, to be honest. Um, I told myself I was gonna go to the doctor today. The thing is, I don't really have any symptoms unless I eat something solid. If I eat something solid, then I have this, you know, huge swelling, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up, and I get very fatigued. Okay, that's enough reason to go to the doctor. I'll go to the doctor. But most of them aren't open till tomorrow. And so to motivate myself, I'm gonna have maybe some more, some jello, and chug a bunch of water. And I'm gonna work out. I have been working out before I eat something, before I eat something. That's the thing, I'm like kind of fine. No, I mean, well, I like don't have enough energy. So when I'm working out, I kind of almost pass out, but it's because of that, I feel like, you know, it's because I don't have enough food in my body to be like working out. Does any of this make sense? I don't know.